Steve. You want to walk over this way? Remember I was telling you what's in here? Yes, yeah, this alley. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Yes, yes. it's a tree. See what's in there? It's a tree. It was a tree. Wait a minute, that thing is a, that's a trunk of a tree, but it isn't. It's these wild bushes that know. they keep trimming down and it keeps growing up. And this is solid wood. Tanks couldn't go through that. No. And I don't know what stupid person called it a hedgerow. I really don't know. So the Germans would come in on the other side and they would find openings in here and set up their, their guns yeah, on Yeah, but it's generally it would be like, a, it's like it's someplace in here where it's convenient for them to right. break through, so they would, yeah. And then, they, and then the rule is stay out of the sunken roads. Why? No, they, they, they would use sunken roads. They would? But we stayed out of sunken roads. Why? Because they could put a machine gun or a cannon, or like he explained in 88, right. and they could cover if it's this bend in a straight road, they can cover three, four, five hundred yards. Right down there. And you couldn't come down there. If you had a tank, you couldn't come down. They'd knock it out. So they'd have a defensive position there waiting for you. Right. So you learn not to use the sunken roads, not to use the main roads. Well, you have to use these. Until you got fired and you hit the ditches and then you... <laughs> you did the best you could. <laughs> yeah. You're right, the best we could. <laughs> Yeah. Found the shell. Yeah, right. Really? Yeah, yeah German. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a German one? It's too much aluminum in this case. <laughs> what, what, yeah, it's a tiny one. What, what, what caliber is that one? Two centimeter. Huh? Two centimeter. That's like one inch, right? No. Mm. Oh, really? Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, 20 millimeters. So all that stuff is still here for you guys to find, oh, right? Yeah, I mean, most of that's been picked up on. Who's this? Like it's cooked off. Yeah. It's yours. Oh, not today? Yeah, it's probably not here right now. Well, I was just showing them a place back there where I was telling them where, <laughs> where the hedgerow was made out of the roots. Yeah. And there was one place where it looked like a tree almost. That's how, turned up like the bushes. Yeah. They were like that, that big around. And they, and they would cut that down for firewood. Next year, like when you have wild stuff, right? When you cut it back, it's mad. So then it next year goes, mm. is bad. <laughs> <laughs> You want to know about Gigi Schneider? Yes. Schneider's stuff was just up here. Uh-huh. You see where there's, there's a lump do you, of... Do you think this was the 17th? Oh, yeah, this is this Company is seven... C. Yeah. See, because I was wounded. Oh, no, this. no, this, this is the 18th. This is so the 18th. You're, you're wounded I was back. one hedgerow back, maybe. Yeah, back on the hedgerow, yeah. maybe because two. I, because I was wounded on the 17th. And uh, I had a... I didn't say it in my speech, but I had a gunshot wound in my neck. So I'm a very lucky guy. Yeah. So I had a wound, my, my gunshot was run right here. But I was able to go down, and it was just a little, you know, a little kind of like... Just enough to get just, to just get myself flat. And, but that same gunner, my lieutenant, first lieutenant, Fields, was 15, 20 feet to my left. And he... He couldn't get down. In fact, in my mind, he was suspended in air, like the bullets were yeah. keeping him up. They just poured it into the same guy poured it into him. Yeah. And uh, he was gone. That's when, the same day, we lost our tech sergeant, yeah. Frank McKenna, and Bill Doe was the next command. Yeah. So he was really, I think he might have been just about the only sergeant left. Yeah. Maybe there was one other, I don't know. Bill oh. told me that by the 19th, our platoon had seven men left. 